exactly fit. There's a piece of it. There's a piece of it. Uh, there's a couple pieces had to be cut into sections. Didn't even they weren't even close to fit. They just shot some spray can paint on them. Cover them up. rust hole right here. Just welded a piece in it. And, um, same thing over here. Got a big piece up in there. It's worse than I thought. And we got this one in and got some filler on it. So we'll clean this up. That cleaned up and sanded down and uh, Part of the problem is this rocker panel from the factory could uh, straight from the front to back and it makes a little, about 12 inches from the end, it makes a little uh, one inch dog leg. And here's a section of it that had to be cut out. So then you had that recession there where the door opens. The corner of this door moves back and forth in here. Uh, as you open and close it, as you can see, that was not made into the rocker panel. So I had to cut one, two, three sections. So instead of putting one big piece in, I had to put six. So anyway, I'm not gonna try and make it look like it was seamless, but uh, anyway, that's that gets rid of a lot of rust. And this here was rusted out. I ended up taking some pieces of the old uh, or the new rocker panel and made a section here so get that sanded down and primer and put a little bit of paint on it just out the spray can that'll hold it until we get ready to paint the truck and then we'll uh, shoot a little silver in here so uh, if you uh, remember what this truck started out like you'll see that it's come a very long way so anyway that's where we're at thanks for watching and i will update you as I get anything done, I've been doing a lot of outdoor uh, dump truck excavating type work, so I haven't had time to fool with this a whole lot. But anyway, uh, there it is, and it won't be long we can paint this piece of shit, and uh, maybe before winter, um, go on to something more. Uh, this needs fixed. I mean, everywhere you look on this truck, it's got rust damage. Should have. Uh, Probably started with a nicer truck, but trying to find one of these four doors. It's two uh, two wheel drive around here uh, with a nice interior. When I bought this truck, that's what I was looking for. I needed a four door. I wanted two wheel drive. I didn't really want to strap that Mercedes diesel to a four wheel drive, and uh, then you'd have been stuck probably with the Dodge transmission. I didn't want to do that. So anyway, these are difficult to find, and if you do find one. The interior is usually ragged out so uh, this one's got a nice interior and uh, you know that's I would have liked to have started with a cleaner truck but that's that's where we're at so anyway uh, it's coming and after today we'll have all the major rust issues fixed as far as the metal work and uh, maybe uh, spend some time straightening out the, the details on it all the bodywork is just roughed in. It's not, nothing's really been blocked except for that corner. I did block it a little bit. So uh, the only the only panels on this truck I consider to be good are the doors and that fender. The rest of it is a piece of crap. Actually, the tailgate's good. The bed and the, and the cab itself uh, is rough. The floor pans are good. But the cab corner and the rockers are gone. Uh, anyway, typical Ohio rust. Belt, that's what you're going to deal with. I uh, got a terrific day to work here in the 60s, low low 60s, and a little windy, but I'll take it. I'd rather be out here in a flannel shirt than just be out here melting down or freezing to death. So, all right, thanks for watching, and uh, sorry about the wind.